Lord Jesus Christ. Surely this Sunday, Sunday could be named the Calling Sunday. All three of the rings for this Sunday contain a story of a call. Different people in different circumstances with different social and religious status, yet all are touched by the divine initiative. Isaiah, perhaps daydreaming, was in the Jerusalem temple. Paul, certainly persecuting, was on the road to Damascus. The fishermen at the lake of Genezareth were washing their nets. In the gospel, Jesus standing on the lake side with a crowd pressing around him to hear the word of God. Significantly, Peter and his companions are not part of this crowd. They are tending to their nets after an unprofitable night's fishing. Then Jesus himself becomes a fisherman, for as Proverbs 20th says, the intention of the human heart is deep water, but the intelligent draw it forth. He gets into Simon's boat, hauls this probably nonplussed man in with him, and puts out a short way from the shore to continue teaching the crowd. After that, Jesus addresses his words to Simon only, telling him to launch out into the deep and put down his nets for a catch. Responding to Jesus as master, and although he cannot resist reminding Jesus that their nets were empty the night before, in obedience to Jesus' words, Peter cast them into the water. Now we have heard what happens next. Empty, net, empty nets become full to the breaking point. And Peter's personal encounter with Jesus leads to the call of James and John to help with the catch. Emptiness becomes fullness in not only one boat, but two. Peter is as overwhelmed as the boats. He could have kept this to himself. He had a big take. He'd likely to be the only person with fish to sell the next day. Instead, his reaction is to tell his colleagues about the opportunity he's found. They set out into the water, and both boats are filled so heavy with fish that they can barely keep them afloat. He falls down at Jesus' feet, begging Jesus to leave him because he is a sinner, which could be Peter's humble profession of his unworthiness to associate with Jesus. But if we read our own experiences, could there not also be a fear of the deep waters that Peter might be letting himself into? Waters that would be less troubled if Jesus just went away and left the fishermen to their nets empty or full? Are there times when we have said to God, why me? When being asked to cope with this commitment, this vocation, this suffering. Certainly, we're concerned about vocations to the priesthood and to religious life, particularly to our passionist community. But most importantly is the need of men and women of all backgrounds, deeply aware of being called to discipleship and to put down their hearts into the waters of this broken world. From that experience of God's love and mercy will come or will blossom new vocations. You who follow us through social media, join us in prayer that more young people be open to become passionate priests, brothers, sisters, and associates. Maybe some of you are being called to follow Jesus crucified, to serve our vulnerable sisters and brothers, to be fishers of people. Think and pray about it. And contact us as Passionist Vocations in Facebook and Instagram. Thank you.